talk about heavily requested in today's episode we're going to be taking a look at some of the best and some of the worst amiga demos State of the Art is one of the most iconic Amiga demos of all time. Everybody should recognize this if you're familiar with the Amiga home computer scene. I remember sitting with my friend Matt and watching this on his TV back in the day. Good times. Baseballs are still going to this day and I'll link this website in the description if you want to take a look at all of the demos that they've released and all of the collaborations that they've done on the Amiga from the early 90s onwards. Now, State of the Art was so popular that in 1992, it won first place at The Party, which is um, was just like a bit of a party for demo scene goers back in the day where everybody could showcase what they'd made. And these demos really do show what the Amiga was completely capable of. Baseballs continued with the bangers. In 1993, they dropped Nine Fingers, which is very similar in terms of its visuals. You've got the kind of in and out kind of camera, really over the top and overexposed pictures of two women dancing. And what's more, when I was doing the research for this video, there's actually a video out there about the making of Nine Fingers. And we're gonna take a look of, at that now. It's really, really cool to see behind the scenes of how this came together. And I love the whole kind of home home um, you know camera handheld camera that kind of captured this all i'll link the video in the description Phenomena to me seem a little bit more, I guess, old school. They produced this Enigma demo. Now, when I think back to playing many, many Amiga games and you'd see like text pop up on the screen that you could barely read, you'd see it scrolling from left to right like you can hear. I mean, for me, this oozes classic early 90s Amiga charm. And I think what's more is this, this demo is pretty famous and I'll show you a scene very shortly, but just look at how well everything moves on the screen. 
I just can't believe this is on Amiga. It, it just blows my mind. I mean, this particular shot reminds me of something that the Super Nintendo might have produced back in the day. But when I said that there was a very famous scene, shot, whatever, animation, it is this. Phenomena were responsible for this. I just could sit and watch this for hours. It's so mesmerizing and it's just so iconic for the Amiga home computer demo scene. And Phenomena yet again with the classic corkscrew text. This developed by Photon, again, very hypnotizing. I hope by now that your nostalgia palette for the Amiga demo scene is tingling. If it isn't, take a look at this next scene. For more Equinox demos, check out their website. It will be linked in the description for more classic nostalgia. Now, Eon is a little bit different. That's because it was developed and released in 2019. You're probably asking, what? There's, why, why are you including this? There's no nostalgia here. But rest assured, because this is the Black Lotus group that have been around since the late 80s. they'd been around since the late 80s. Join Us was their very first demo in 1991. And look how basic this demo is. Listen to how horrific it sounds as well. What's interesting here is the side-by-side -side comparison. It's glaringly obvious at just how much the Black Lotus group have progressed. And of course, technologies progress. I understand that. But just look at the difference between their latest demo compared to their first demo, not just in visuals, but you've heard demos from them both as well. The 2019 demo definitely sounds a lot more pleasing to the ear. Or does Melon Design's logo look like something you'd have on an old Nokia 3210? Yep, it looks absolutely bang on. But joking aside, these were an incredibly impressive and active group on the Amiga demo scene right throughout the 90s. And I quote here from good old Wikipedia, the group was notable in the scene for their focus on design. This meant seamless transitions and less focus on impressive algorithms. So what is left of the Amiga demo scene? It's fair to say that I could go on for hours talking and showing and listening to thousands of Amiga demos for you all. And I'm sure there'll be plenty of people in the comments that mention many, many more. We're skimming the surface here, but what we have done is shown the importance of this gorgeous piece of art. That's right, it is art. But is there still space for the demo scene in 2022?
There is, of course, absolutely room. As one of Melon's awesome Amiga demo was said, there is no after the demo scene. The demo scene is for life. If you quit the scene, you're just standing by to return. So the demo scene on the Amiga home computer still fascinates me today as much as it fascinates you. I want to know which demos helped define your experience with the Amiga home computer back in the day. Um, maybe you've tried a demo on the 500, 600, 1200 or maybe one of the more hardcore, something like the Amiga 1000 or the Amiga 4000. Those home computers were well out of my reach as a little girl. We were pretty basic back in our childhood on the council estate with an Amiga, I think I, I, I had, my friends between them had a five, a 600 and a 1200. That was the scope of where we sampled our Amiga demos back in the day. I absolutely love it. And I still feel like it was yesterday when I think of being sat in my friend's bedroom back in the nineties, close my eyes right now, I can see it. Um, it just fills my soul with joy. So if you're new here, thank you very much for being here. I hope you guys subscribe. If you don't, maybe I won't see you in the next one, but if you do, I will. Take care, see you soon. I need a few seconds of your time to tell you about channel memberships. If you guys want to become a channel member, click join from the main page or the second link in the description. There are three tiers, all with different perks for you if you want to become a team member. Thanks for your time. Let's continue with the video.